Hey guys, what's up? Imu from THDK here, and this is the review of the SlimCat ROM Build 3 official version for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 P3100. As I mentioned earlier in my videos, I'll be just pointing out the differences between this ROM and the CM level ROM. So, starting with the differences in the last screen, the best part of the last screen in this ROM is that it has the landscape version. Let me show you that. It looks really clean and simple no first nothing really neat even a thing is that that there is no lock glitch previously in the other CM11 based ROM or the Sensonic ROMs when you used to press the lock screen the electro beam animation had some errors but this has no errors at all it works completely fine next when you get into the settings You'll notice that it has the real dark slim option and very basic functions and under the advanced settings like interface interface has three options battery icon you can just change the style of the battery icon next is the notification and quick settings drawer custom carrier level you can set up the custom carrier level let me set it up as AT and T AT and T and let's see whether it works or not I don't see it anywhere let me see in the last screen yeah it has changed to AT and T so it works next is the notification transparency how much transparent the notification will be I don't have any notification at this point when I will have I will really show you next is the shortcuts show shortcuts in a notification drawer it's a very common function next is tiles and layout tiles and layout you can just control the tiles a very basic function again quick collapse when you just press any button it will just collapse in the next moment which usually doesn't happen to show you a better example of that let me just do this As I have just turned off my Wi-Fi just jumped back to its default position but when I uncheck it you'll notice that it will still be there even though I press the Wi-Fi button so that's the difference now next is style view or change the quick settings style options you can just change how it looks next is background style we can set the background transparent transparency let me set it to 50% yeah you can see through it yeah it works next under the settings is the status bar you can just enable the clock and date clock and date enabled alignment let me do it center clock it looks much more better date don't show I'll be sh seeing it in a small size so small it looks nice Next is navigation. Under navigation, you again have three settings. That is the global menu. Global menu out here is the here power you can menu. control the position of each and every button. Let me just show you that. If I pull the power off button at the end, you will see it will go to the end. Yeah, see the power off has gone to the end. So let me put it back on the top because that is the best position for it. You can see again that it has gone at the top. Next is the navigation bar. You can just control the buttons. You can add buttons. You can add buttons. Uh, presently, I have just three buttons, which are the usual ones: recent, home, back. But if you want, you can add a series of buttons, which are here. A lot of buttons, but I prefer not adding it. But just for your sake, I'm just showing you one custom app. Okay, this one will go to many. Just any notification so you can see the notification has appeared and when you press it the notification drops down you can slide right or left to delete that button you have added next is the ring targets here you can add custom rings when you pull up from the navigation bar i have said google screenshot power menu and the last if you app. want you can add from a series of a button variety your, of buttons to add as a wish Next is I have selected the bar height at 40 dp. Usually it's 48 dp, but 40 dp looks fine. It's smaller. The smaller the better. The more screen you'll get. Menu visibility. 
show on request that is the default menu location right next is slim pie you must have noticed the app that the pie controls are appearing sometimes as i have enabled it at default these buttons which are appearing will be there and as i guess these are the buttons which i have set up for my navigation and the pull up buttons and these are the same buttons only one addition is there of the input method in the stock there is only one input method that is the aosp keyboard no voice input next is the slim center from here and you can check for updates install new roms you can download g apps this is the, under the slim roms you can see bug reports slim irc donate slim source next is slim ota you can see i am at the updated version the version 3 or i must say build 3 official and you can next see the slim side message this tool allows you to delete system apps use with caution and only delete apps you know are safe to be removed okay i won't be deleting any apps at this point but later on when i feel i will surely delete some other than this this rom is very simple but works really great it's really smooth okay google works fine you can see it just launched as i said okay google i am pretty far from my wifi so voice recognition might not Overall, work i have no complaints regarding this rom the best part is that it's official and it will be getting much more updates now and i have nothing to worry also, because I'll my be rom is it. overclocked i have got a extra boost in my speed which helps me while gaming and multitasking the only thing i miss most in this rom is the presence of the all clear button in the recent tab you have to clear the apps manually by swiping right or left which is quite a pain Running when you have lots of apps the camera works fine although the camera on the tab is very poor but overall it's okay app launches and other things are quite fast i have no complaints regarding that the overall experience is quite good so i would like to sum up with this that If you want something very simple but fast and efficient, Slimcat ROM is your choice. If you like this video, do hit the like button, subscribe and comment if you think I have missed out something. And thanks for watching.